any minivan into a camper van without doing any permanent modifications. Now, this also applies to SUVs. A lot of you have SUVs and you want to take them on the road and use them for camping. Now, mine has been altered permanently in that I took out all my seats, but I want to show you how you can put your minivan together without taking your seats out. One thing I want you to remember about a mini, about all minivans is they're all different. You got, you got Dodge, you've got Toyota, you've got Kia, <laughs> you've got um, Chrysler, you've got all kinds of minivans. Mine was pretty easy, so I will explain that. I want to do a shout out to tidbits of my life. You asked for a shout out and you got it. You have been a faithful um, viewer for a long time. And so shout out, tidbits of my life. Hi, I love you. What else do we got here? I want to suggest that you watch this video all the way through. Sometimes I get comments on my videos and I know for fact that you've ask a question or made a comment and you didn't watch it all the way through. I'll try to make this brief, but please watch us all the way through. I've got good stuff all the way from the beginning all the way to the end. I wanna thank you all for spending time with me. Now, you know, cause there's all kinds of things you could be doing today, but you're spending it with me and I really appreciate that. You know, this lifestyle isn't for everybody. So I really am not here just to promote, oh, let's all be nomads. Let's all live the van life. Um, but rather what I like to do is offer an alternative, an outside the box kind of life. If that's gonna fit your needs, we're not all the same. This is This lifestyle is fun. And what I like to do is instruct and show you how you can do it, how you can rethink things and how to have fun with it. I mean, we really, in life, we should have fun, right? What we hold in our head, we can hold in our hand, and that's my motto. Also, good things are coming your way, and they're coming my way. So let's get started with looking at the whole picture of this van. I've been living in my van for six years, so there's a lot of little things going on in here that I've, I've tweaked and I put here and I put there. So what I want to do is show you how you can take a, a blank slate. You've got all your seats in. You just have an, a minivan. You know, like you, you put your kids in, you drive to the store, you or your husband go to the store, or you're single and you just, um, you have a minivan or an SUV. Um, you haven't made modifications in it. You don't store a bunch of stuff in it. You put your purse or your bag or your book bag in there. You take your books to the library. When you go to the store, you put your groceries in the back and then you go, but you have a blank slate. So let's get started. I want to show you in here. These are my three bins, okay? So my living area, my living area is there and comes forward, okay? So let's go in the back and I want to show you my garage area. And then we can start from there. Okay, this is my garage area. And as you can see, those bins end right here. The bins end here. So I have this space to put stuff that I call my garage area. Forgive the, forgive the road. Um, it's Monday, things are busy today. So bear with me, okay? But this, these are things that I keep back here. But you know what, if you're not going to modify your minivan on a permanent basis or your SUV, you might not need all of this stuff. You might want to go with just doing it part-time or you're testing things out. You don't want to take the seats out yet. You are getting started, you want to test it out. Well, or, <laughs> or you're renting a minivan, right? I mean, there you go. You're renting one and you want to try it out. So you don't need this space. Let me explain what I use this space for. I'll just go through and mention some of the things. I like to put things in here that I can just, that I need. I want to grab them. I don't want to look at them, but I want to grab them when I'm outside. They're like outside stuff. This is my gym bag. So when I'm gonna go to the gym, 
everything is in here. I just picked this up, put it over my shoulder and go into the gym. What else do I have in here? These are some clothes I gotta figure out what to do with. Here's a blanket, my dirty clothes. These are, this is my uh, front. I have an accordion um, windshield cover for when I'm in a parking lot and there's a lot of light coming through because they got those heavy lights coming down in a parking lot. So I kind of double up my windshield covers when I'm doing that. I've got my Oakmo down here and I've got some extra stuff. My weights, a small fan, I've got my pot, I've got my rice cooker. Um, there's just my slack line <laughs> for when I slack line. I'll, I'll, if you don't know what that is, I'll tell you at some point later. But this is what I need to grab when I'm outside. You do not need this. If you're gonna just not permanently do a modification, Let's go over to the passenger side. Okay, this is where my passenger seat went, obviously, my front passenger seat. But you are gonna keep your front passenger seat in. You're gonna keep it in. But you can still utilize this area down here where the feet would go. You can store your water down there. That's a good place for it. Out of sight, you can just come around and get it when you need it. You do not need these bins here. You could maybe have one bin that you sit on top of the seat or however you want to do that. But you don't have to take your, your passenger seat out. I took mine out, I think the second year that I was a nomad. I thought, I just don't need this. I'm not really gonna pick up anybody. I'm not gonna drive anybody. I had left Ohio, I was, or was leaving Ohio. And what I did was, well, I, I would take my granddaughter in Ohio, I would take her places. What I did was my second row seats, they would fold up and then you could, they're real heavy, but you could lift them out. So what I would do is when I knew I was gonna take her, I would put it in, click it in, and she would sit in a second row seat back there. But I took this out, it was really hard to get out. It was a 2006 Kia Sedona. And it was, it, it, it almost had rusted in there. So I had to take it to a mechanic and he had to air, um, air, um, whatever that is and, and get it out, of, you know, and get it out. Um, the bolts were so tight, but you don't need to do that. You'll have your passenger seat. If you're just testing the waters out, you're not gonna take that much and you probably still have your home. So you don't need to take every little thing with you. I have more bins because I take more stuff with me. I live full time in my minivan. So basically, I need what I need. Um, I do have a storage, but even so, I like to have things with me most of the time. So this is gonna be, you'll still have your seat in. Now, one thing you're gonna want to have are window covers. It doesn't matter if you're doing this part time or full time you got to cover your windows at night. So I suggest you get some, some window covers. Now mine is Reflectix and I've got material over it. You can get some Reflectix and you can cut it, just cut it larger than the actual window, exact window, and it fits in. But I'll tell you, after a while, it loses its shape and they just fall back out. Even mine falls back out. I've got like what I do, watch this here. Let me get a good. What I do is a lot of you have asked me about this. I had a friend make the, these for me. See the reflective is all kind of bent up in here. So nothing sticks, but it is nice to look at. So I keep just a little, this is tape. This is tape. I take this and I can pull this. There we go. But if I didn't have the tape on here, it would fall right off. It's just my system. And when I put it back on, I just put it on nicely and go like that and it stays. There's no tape down here. Let's see, When I go to take them off, what I do is, I take it off and I nicely with the sticky part up, 
I just lay it right here on my bins. And I do the same with my driver's side and I lay it here. As soon as I park, it doesn't matter where I'm at. I could be at the store, I could be at the park, I could be whatever. As soon as I park, I come around and I put it back. I don't want anybody, I just don't want to tempt anybody. They can see I have stuff in here. I don't want to tempt anybody. I put my I put my shades up when my car is parked. When I'm in there, it's covered. What I have been doing, since we're talking about this, what I have been doing is when I'm sitting in my van and it's really hot, I want to open my windows. I bring my windows to down to about here. And what I do is I pull this out like that and I let the wind kind of flow through and I do it to the other side and it flows through. That way people can't see everything in here, but yet I'm getting air through. So that's what I've been doing. Now for me, I'll show you, I don't open this side. I just don't because I have my dresser. So let's go around and look what you can do. Right here, I've got my three bins. Normally I pulled these out for you to see so we could go in this side, but normally they sit right there in the front and I close this off. And this is like my city mode. When I'm out boondocking, I can bring these out and sit them on a nice tarp and I can leave them out all day. That way I can just go in and out. I can cook in here easy and everything. But when I'm in the city, I can't do that. I can't just sit out here and cook. And I would be uncomfortable with that, that somebody might come up and um, try to talk to me or come in my van or something. Okay, so let's go in. I want to show you what's in here. These are my three bins. There's three of them. One, two, three. I've got it bungeed there, it kind of goes around. Up here, I've got my pillows and my blankets, and there's my sleeping bag. Well, if you were not gonna do any modifications, what you're gonna need to do is put your second row seats down. If they click out, you're gonna have to do that and store them somewhere, whether it be a storage or in your, yeah, if you still have a house. Now your third row seats definitely are just gonna fold down. They're gonna fold down. I think most minivans do that. Here, we'll get rid of that sound. <laughs> there we go. Um, I took my third row seats out. They're gone. But, and so I've got this well that they would have folded down into. I can take off my glasses now. They would have folded down into there. Well, I've got three bins down there. You'll have to see another video so you can see what that was like. It wasn't too long ago that I put my winter clothes away and then you could see that. But what I'm saying is if you don't have that garage area back here that I showed you at first, this can go all the way back. Yeah. Or you could put the three bins like one, one, two, three, right? Or just have two bins. And you could keep, I've got, this is, this is where my clothes go. So I suggest having a bigger bin for your clothes because, I mean, you, if you're just testing out the waters, yeah, you want to have some clothes with you. You want to have enough clothes. And so you, these are, these are not expensive. These might be up to maybe $24. And each of these is probably up to like 12 to 16, depending on where you look. Now I've got these window coverings up. I've got window coverings. I've got window coverings. I can leave you a link for the video that shows how to put window, to put um, window coverings up. But this is how you can do it. You don't have to permanently modify your minivan or your SUV. Now, we, can, we can't even put, include vans in here, can we? No, because like an Econoline van, a Chevy van, something like that, or a high top, of course you're going to have to modify it. You're, well, you wouldn't even have to modify it, but you might want to do a build out. You're going to put a cot. This video is mainly for those of you who want to do the minivan life the way I do. I, um, I want to show you this. I've got a big bin here. And then I've got two bins, one and then one's underneath there. So now let's talk about things that you probably, you it's going to be a must have that you need to have. Number one is going to be a power station. I have a Jackery. Well, I have two of them, 
but there are many um, brands out there. There's Blue Eddy, there's Okmo um, for power stations. And it is a power station, that's what it is. Um, it's got for AC, you can plug in for what, a, like electrical for um, 12 volt and for USB. It stores energy is what it does. I've got mine hooked to a solar panel that's up on my roof, but I also have a solar panel that I can take out and put outside. I have to babysit it, but I can do that. And so I suggest that you also get yourself a solar panel. And you're gonna need a fan. You wanna keep air flowing through. You're gonna need lighting. I've got some lighting here. I've got lighting here. But I also have all of my, um, Let's see if I can get this down. I have my, um, you're going to need a flashlight. These are basic things that you're going to need for van life. What else will you need? I kept this out. I think it's a really good idea to have a collapsible bucket so you can wash your face. You want to take, you know, take care of your skin, wash your face. If you want to have an ice chest, you got to buy ice. Um, Maybe you're not ready for a 12 volt refrigerator. They do take a lot of power. So you you would really need to have some solar on your roof, things like that. But there's so many foods, and I've talked about that. I can talk about that again in another video. There's so many foods that don't require a, a refrigerator. Cheese, a lot of people ask me, oh, you don't have a refrigerator for your cheese? Uh, no, <laughs> cheese doesn't require refrigeration. I wouldn't keep it over a week and a half. But yeah, I mean, and it gets a little soft, but um, sometimes that's a better flavor. I use apples and I make salads and uh, oy vey shmeo. I, I, I eat very, very well and I don't have a refrigerator and I don't have a um, ice chest. What else did I, let me look at my notes here. I don't know why it didn't recognize me. Let's see. Um, oh yeah, a butane stove. You need to have a butane stove. And so you can make your coffee. Don't be afraid to use it in your van. Just keep it away from things. And it takes butane. So easy. Oh my gosh. What else? Um, you need dinnerware and you need simple cookware. I have a small skillet and I have a pan that I use in the, in, I keep it back there because I don't use it very often. You need a plate, uh, a knife, a fork, a spoon, a coffee cup, you know, things like that. And it, it doesn't take a lot. Go to Walmart, pick up some things for very cheap. Don't get a whole bunch of fancy schmancy stuff yet, right? Um, you need clothes, food, and water. You're gonna need water, get a gallon jugs of water. You can get simple car tools, like a jump starter, tire inflator, and I always suggest AAA road service. We talked about the window covers. We talked about lighting, flashlight. I suggest get some bear spray. And you need to have Google Maps so you can see where you're going. <laughs> yes. And a phone holder. Other than that, oh my gosh. You know, it's just a matter of deciding how simple you want to go. But I'm, but the point of this video is you do not have to permanently modify your minivan. You don't have to do it. If you want to put something on the floor, you can get a carpet that you use only for when you are using your minivan for traveling. And then maybe roll it up and put it in your garage or a storage or whatever. Um, but you can lay some blankets down. This is what I have. I've got a carpet down. Here's the regular upholstery for the minivan. I've got the carpet and I've got some blankets down for padding. I've got one, two, three, four. And I also put down, um, mine are dirty. I have to go do laundry, but I have like, um, bath sheets, not towels, but the bigger ones, the sheets. And I put bath sheets down just to sit on in case so crumbs can fall on them and then I can take them out and shake them. But that's about it. It is so easy to do this without any modification. Try it out first or just use your minivan for, you know, that you don't have to go get hotel rooms. You can get like KOAs. I think what are they're like, I think they're like $50 for a KOA stay for the night. Hello. Um, Cause hotels are really starting to get expensive. Or you can just 
stay in the city the way I do, or you can just go boondocking on BLM land. I'm gonna check and make sure there's nothing else I wanted to mention to you. I believe that's it. That's what I, those are the points I wanted to hit for you. <laughs> I wanted to hit them for you. Yeah. So this is my abode. This is my home. I live in my home. I don't know if you've ever seen this view, but this is, it's one of those, it's a really nice, it's like a bag. It's real thick. So it holds its form, but I keep paper towels. I keep my spray bottle, my vinegar water, my butane, my fire, um, fire stop. And I just sort of park this right in there. There we go. This is my little, um, this I leave, whew, I'm, I'm crooked. This is for, um, things that like have to sit upright, the bottles, things like that, that any kind of bottle or container that has to sit upright. Yeah. Okay, everybody, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I love you guys. Mwah. I do love you guys. And it's fun to give you good information. It's fun. Um, let me turn this over a little bit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Let's get it right. Um, I like to give you guys information. And even if you don't want to be full-time like I am, I've been full-time for six years now. If you don't want to be full-time, you don't have to. You can do it your way because I'm doing it my way and you're doing it your way. Okay, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video, which I know you did. Thanks for watching it all the way through. Hello, if you're here, you watched it all the way through. Go to minivanlee.com. I do have neck gaiters. Um, believe it or not, I only have three pairs of sunglasses left. You'll have to go and find them. I think it's Lee style, Raven style, and Glenna style. There's one of each. That's all I have left. So if you want those, I would go get those. Um, I just had, uh, an order, uh, two orders, uh, yesterday. So I got three left. I've got neck gaiters and I've got the exercise videos. Oh yeah. And the book. Um, all of the things that you would need, and I do talk about it in the book, things that you would need if you want to do this just on a part-time basis. So the book is not expensive. The ebook is only $9.99. I think the paperback is $19.99. So I would grab that. And it's got list upon list upon list. It is the most comprehensive of getting from A to Z. It's the most comprehensive nomad book out there. It's not just for minivans. It's for everything. Well, I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.